A uh, quick addendum on the previous tutorial on walk cycles. I didn't actually teach you the correct way of doing this. I taught you like the theory behind it all and um, why people move the way they do, but I didn't teach you like the proper way of doing this. Uh, so you don't want to move the pelvis forwards at all. In fact, you want to have the character almost walking in place. So you do the poses as best you can for the first step. And then for the second step, take the camera down, uh, zoom it in so there's not a lot of like perspective getting in the way. And um, skip between the poses on the first and second steps so you can get it to as close as a, like a mirror of the previous step as possible. And because the pelvic motion will mostly be the same, you can copy in the previous corresponding keys. And then once you finish the poses on both steps, you can copy and paste the first key instead of having to do the same pose again, and it should loop. Now, take the root bone and move it forwards about as fast as you want them to move, and if there's some slidiness in the feet, you can fix it by adjusting their position so they're a bit more stationary. Now, if you copy paste the whole thing and animate the root bone, you've created the walk cycle. You've created the... He can walk forever. He's never going to stop walking. He's never going to stop...